Taskit is a collaboration and productivity platform that enables users to create, manage, and collaborate on tasks, projects, and notes all in real time. So if you're like me and are always on the hunt for the next or best productivity software, app, or tool to help you get things done more efficiently, then join me in this video as we take a general overview of Taskit and some of its great functionality. On Taskade, while searching for alternatives to the more popular productivity apps like Notion and Todoist, really I was just curious to see what else was out there in the market of productivity tools, and that's when I came across Taskade. Now, the reason it caught my attention in particular was because it was advertised as an AI-powered productivity tool, and I was already looking into ways of how I could incorporate AI to improve my workflow and personal productivity. Another reason why I decided to give Taskit a try was because I saw and read a lot of comments on people saying how good the free version of it was. Now, let's take a look at the pricing of Taskit. Now, before we do that, let me just mention that in my experience, the free version of Taskit is more than enough if you plan on only using it for personal productivity. But I think it's worth highlighting that even if you have a small team and you need a, an application to facilitate collaboration with each other, Taskit is a really good inexpensive option. To give you an idea, the most exp expensive plan they have under their business category is this ultimate plan, and it's only $16 per user per month, which compared to licenses to other products is really an inexpensive application. Now, because the, per the business plans don't really apply to what I use Taskade for, let's take a look at the personal plans. Again, if you're only using these for personal reasons, then I believe you can get away with only using the free version without having to jump to a paid plan. Really, when comparing these different plans, the main difference that I noticed between the free and other paid plans in under the personal category was this storage space. So as you can see with the free plan, we get 250 megabytes of storage, and then it goes up to two gigabytes and five gigabytes on the plus plan. In Taskade, you can upload different documents similarly to a Google Drive, and those get stored straight into the platform, which uses up this storage. But if you can manage your documents outside of Taskade, then you really don't need the additional storage. And again, the free plan would work just fine for you. So what exactly is Taskade? If you go on their website, you can see that Taskit is really trying to be that unified workspace where you can collaborate with other team members and get all your work done in a productive fashion. They claim that they have incorporated up to five AI power tools into one supercharged platform, creating the best and the in-sync unified workspace. They even go as far as telling you which software or applications you could potentially replace with the use of Taskit. For example, they claim that you will be able to replace the use of AI tools such as ChatGPT, Jasper, or Copy the AI, or Copy That AI, with their integrated AI assistant. If we scroll down a little further, they also mentioned that because you have the ability to create these dynamic workflows and automate some of the tasks that happen within the platform, that you could potentially replace other productivity tools such as Trello, Asana, and Monday. Another thing I want to show you, and it's something that really shows how the task a team is trying to be that in-sync in -sync unified workspace and really trying to be that one platform where you can come together with other team members and collaborate without having to use uh, other applications, is how the task a team has integrated a chat and video conferencing feature. So potentially you could replace the use of Slack, Zoom, and Microsoft Teams and have all your collaboration happen within this platform. Now, I have spent already a few weeks with this application, but I plan to spend more time, and in a couple of weeks, I'll be doing a review to let you know whether or not all these claims from the people behind Taskade are true. So stay tuned for that video. So here we have kind of our home screen when it comes to Taskade. Now, before I start kind of going over the structure and the layout of the platform, I think it's worth mentioning that Taskade is available in multiple devices, meaning you can access and edit your tasks from any device, including Android, iOS, Windows, Mac, Linux, and they also have a Firefox and Chrome extension. It is also important to consider that Taskade does require an internet connection to be able to edit your tasks. 
However, you are able to read and review your tasks even without an internet connection. You just can't edit anything. So now let's take a look at the layout and general structure of the application. The first thing that we can notice when opening the application is that our screen is divided into three vertical sections. In the first section, we have our main menu items. In the second section, we can find our folders with our projects and tasks inside of each. And then in the last bigger section, we have our working space or working area where we can edit projects and add and create new tasks. To better understand Taskit, we need to understand the simple hierarchy they use to organize your tasks. Now in this hierarchy, you have four main sections. You have your workspaces, you have your folders. Within those folders, you'll have your projects. And in each of those projects, you will have your tasks. So let's go over an example of what creating a new project and adding some tasks to it would look like within Taskit. So let's pretend I want to open up food truck business. The first thing that I would do here in Taskit is create a folder where I can store all my projects related, related to this new food truck business. To do that, I would go here into my workspace. I will click here on create a new folder. I would give my folder a name and then I can tag it with a different color. So once I have my folder, I can go ahead and start adding the different projects within this folder. In this case, I will add three main projects needed for my food truck business. The first project will be just the space that I will use to brainstorm ideas to help me choose what food I should sell with this new food truck. For this brainstorming project, we can leverage the integrated AI assistant to help us create a template that would help us brainstorm and come up with ideas on what food we can sell. To do that, I can go here in the food truck business folder and I can click on new project. I can choose the new project option. I can give the project within the food truck business folder a name. So brainstorm food types slash cuisine. And here, if I look on the right side, I see that I have this AI assistant available. I can ask the AI assistant to please help me create a template to brainstorm ideas on what foods to sell out of my food truck. Okay and Taskit will start creating a template for me. Now, it's not as fast as ChatGPT. I mean, it, it will take a little bit of time and you have to wait for it to, um, to finish. But, you know, I just wanted to give you an example of what this would look like. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Add to, add to Project even though it's not done. And as you can see here, it gave us a template that we can follow in order to start picking or deciding what food we need to sell out of our food truck. Okay, now that we have our, bra our brainstorming template, let's add two more projects. So I'll go back, back here to the food truck business folder. As we can see here, I already have the brainstorm template that I can go in and edit or go through it to start brainstorming ideas on what food I could sell. But for now, let's add two more projects. For that, I'll just click here on new project. And the first would be finding a food truck. So purchase versus rent. And if I go back, I will also need a project to help me organize my thoughts right around finding a food supplier. Okay. And as you can see, now I have three projects within my food truck business folder. One of the things we notice and one of the things is nice, especially if you're using this tool to collaborate, is that you can assign other team members to specific projects within a folder. And that way they can also collaborate within this project and add tasks or edit the project itself all in real time. Another cool feature that I like is that we can assign a due date to each specific project. So for example, let me go here to the food truck purchase versus rent. 
now that's going to be one of the main things that I need before even, you know, starting the, the business. I need a food truck where I can sell the food out of. So let's say I need to get that done before January 31st. I'll go ahead and set the time. I'm for finding a food supplier. I'll give myself, you know, a week after January 31st. And I'll give that as the due date. Okay, finally, the last step uh, would be to start adding tasks to these projects. Before I do that, I just, I'm going to go ahead and mark or start the uh, food truck purchase versus rent. I'll show you why I did that uh, in a few minutes. But let's go within the, let's go inside the food truck purchase versus rent project. And let's open that up and let's start adding a few tasks. So let's say, I don't know, the first I, the first task would be go on Craigslist and eBay and come up with a list of 10 possible options to purchase a food truck. So that would, that would be one task. And a second task would be research food truck rental services. Not sure if that's even a thing, but you know, we'll have that as our task. Now, some of the things uh, that are really cool once we have a few tasks under a project um, that we can do is if we click here on this plus sign, we can see that we can add a or assign a due date to this task specifically. So I'll get I'll go ahead and do that. So let's say I want to get this task done by tomorrow. Um, you can alert me 10 minutes before the event. And I can also if I need to switch my time zone. But for now, I'll just set the due date as tomorrow. I can also assign this to someone again, if you're collaborating with other team members inside or within Taskade, then you can assign tasks to each other. You can comment, I can upload a file. This is where that storage space that we saw in the different payment plans uh, comes into play. If we're adding or uploading files straight into the platform, I can embed uh, links or URLs from the internet and I can set a timer and also react uh, with emojis to to each different task. And obviously you have a ton of more features um, that you can do and you know you can add different types of blocks within a project but that's really the, the, the basics of Taskade. So you have your workspace then within that workspa workspace you have different folders. I like to create a folder for each kind of big project that I'm working on and within that folder then you start adding your projects and within those projects, you have different tasks that you can assign, react, um, or give due dates to. And you can, you can start crossing them off your list as you're completing those tasks. But now let me just show you some of the main menu items that we have here on the left side, just so that you're aware of what that's what's available. Here at the very top, we have the recent step that that'll just show you a summary of the latest uh, projects and templates that you have accessed. Then we have a my tasks view here. You can see any task that has an assigned due date. Um, if you remember, we assigned a due date of the 19th for these go on Craigslist and eBay and come up with a list of 10 possible options. So now we can see the task here in my tasks view. And this will also give you a summary. So let's say you have tasks assigned to yourself in different projects or different folders. This tab would kind of summarize all those and put them into one place um, to give you a, a kind of an, an overview of what needs to be done. Then we also have a calendar view where we can see, you know, which tasks or projects are coming up that we need to work on and keep and keep an eye on. Then we have our start section. If you remember, I marked as favorite or start the food truck purchase versus rent project. So that's, this just kind of gives me quick access to that or any other project that I favorite. Then you have a shared with me uh, tab, which you know I won't be using obviously because I'm not collaborating with anybody uh, for now within Taskade. And finally, we have our workspaces. So now that we have reviewed an example of how to create folder projects and tasks within Taskade, 
I want to show you another cool feature that the platform offers. So if I go inside my food truck purchase versus rent project, I have added here a few headings just to make my template more organized and for me to keep track of tasks a lot easier for this project. But something cool that Taskit offers is that without having to modify anything in my template, I can choose different list views or different ways I want to review and view my information. So for example, here I selected the Kanban board view and it split my sections into different buckets. This way, if I want to keep track of projects, for example, let's say I completed these tasks to go on Craigslist and eBay and review um, some options for food truck purchases. So once this is done, I can simply drag it to the done bucket. And in a simple view, I can quickly tell which tasks I have not started, which are in progress, and which tasks I've already completed. We also have within our projects a calendar view, very similar to the summarized calendar view for all our projects, but this is specific to the food truck and purchase or food truck purchase versus rent project where I can see which tasks are coming up in the week or in the month and which ones are done or not started. Then we have our action tracker. This again, so it uses the headings that I created in my template and it kind of gives me just more columns uh, for me to review my tasks. So for example, I can see who the task is assigned to the due date for that task, any comments that people or myself have left on each of those tasks. I can react, I can set the timer, and then just any files or media that anybody has uploaded for that specific task or heading, I can review quickly in this view. Then we have a mind map view. Uh, now I'll be making another video specifically on how to create a mind map in Taskit. I think this is really convenient and a really cool feature to use, especially for brainstorming ideas for a new project. But anyway, this is just kind of a different view um, to view our information. And then finally, we have the organization chart uh, view, which is similar to the mind map, but more of a hierarchy structure um, to view your tasks. So to summarize this overview video, Taskit is a real-time organization and collaboration tool. It offers a unified workspace for tasks, notes, and communication, enabling users to create checklists, outlines, and notes very easily. The platform is structured around creating projects, and these projects can be customized with different views such as task list, Kanban boards, calendars, action trackers, mind maps, and organizational hierarchical structure maps. So if you're looking for a great and free productivity tool that you can use to keep track of your personal projects and improve your personal productivity, then I really recommend for you to check out Taskade.